Hey, it's Phoebe and today I'm exploring Kyoto. So right now we're in Tokyo and we need to get to Kyoto. I've heard the Shinkansen is a great way to travel Japan, but I've actually never done it before. So today we're going to do that for the very first time. We got JR rail passes so we can catch as many JR trains as we like, which makes it easy and affordable to move between major cities. And I booked ours through Kluke. It's gonna take around two hours and 40 minutes to get there. So we're gonna need something to eat. I heard that these bento boxes are the move. So we've got a couple of these and I cannot wait to try them. They look so delicious. But right now we have to go and find our platform because our train is leaving. Let's go. to catch the bus from Kyoto station to the hotel in Kyoto but we missed it <laughs> we walked the wrong way and we completely missed it um, and it was like a half hour wait for the next bus and I had a look on uber and it turns out you can get an uber there for like ten dollars so we're just gonna do that um, I hope we're standing in the right place because the guy is coming uh, so let's let's see if that works out <laughs> shouldn't take as long to get there though hey don't oh. forget to like and subscribe <laughs> For accommodation, we are staying at the coolest hotel in Kyoto. The Millennials is a high-tech capsule hotel and it's located in the perfect spot. There's so much good food and things to do around the area. It just makes it really easy to explore. I've actually never stayed at a capsule hotel before and this is an awesome first experience. So each person gets their own three meter square smart pod with an electric bed recliner, lights, a raised to wake alarm system and more. And it's all controlled by this super cool little iPod. The shutter rolls down for privacy and you can store your luggage underneath as well, which is really Really great. The common areas are super trendy, modern, comfortable and functional. It's almost like if a co-working space was also a trendy hotel. I loved staying here. I was a bit nervous about staying in the capsule hotel, but I loved it. It has a really cool community feel. The staff are awesome. You get amazing views over Kyoto. You just feel so connected to the city. Um, check out the link in the video description if you want to book. If you come over to my channel, this is what you'll see. Oh, it's recording. I didn't know. It's recording. <laughs> I like to start recording early. That's how so you actually, get the magic. If you actually do go over to my channel, don't <laughs> no, stay you, on my channel. You'll see my, um, you'll see my exact version of this video. Mm -hmm. So you should go check it out at ESJMO. And <laughs> the reason it's better is because <laughs> the lens is much wider. <gasps> see that wide, the lovely lens. And. Phoebe just doesn't have the tech. <laughs> I cannot believe what is happening. This is awful. All right. I'm joking, sorry. <clears throat> Back to business. I've never been to Kyoto before. I've never stayed in, I've never caught a Shinkansen before and I've never stayed in a capsule hotel before. And today I've done all three. Um, yes. This is an amazing place to stay. The capsules are really cozy, really comfortable. The staff are really lovely. Yeah. Cool breakout spaces. Yeah. And they have a cocktail hour. And so you can come up for free beers from 5.30 to 6.30. In our case, we get a free cocktail. Okay. Um, Paloma? I, yeah, the Paloma, can recommend. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, the plan for the night is just go out, have fun, find some good food, love life. Explore Kyoto. All right, let's go.
a beautiful day in Kyoto and as you can see <laughs> we've dressed to blend in. <laughs> um, so we went to a kimono rental store this morning. Um, we did not leave enough time. It was a very frenzied experience but we got all dressed up and now we are doing our walking food tour yeah. with Yuka, <laughs> our amazing guide. So we're going to be trying lots of food around Kyoto dressed. Dressed up. <laughs> dressed well. dressed to the nines. Let's go! Yaoichi? Yes. <laughs> okay. The first stop on our eating tour is to Yaoichi. It is a local supermarket. Um, honestly, if you're in Kyoto, I re recommend even if you don't do a food walking tour that you just come here and hang out for like an hour. There is so much good stuff you could try. Sashimi, sushi, all kinds of goodies. They have baked goods. Uh, just everything basically. And then you could make yourself an amazing picnic. Um, I'm starting with a cinnamon sweet sugary roll thing. It looks so good. Oh, that's my dream. The Japanese no good pastry. Good lord. That is good. <laughs> saying there's a rule in the market you can't walk and eat which is a very good rule so we're at a little what is this a tempura shop a little tempura shop and we're gonna try some shrimp tempura <laughs> yes thank you Yuka. is it um that's a big shrimp yes <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that happened to me too. you like it yeah. So this is the fattiest and, and fatty or just fattiest? Fattiest. The fattiest. Okay. It's fattiest the fattiest. And turban shell. Turban shell? Yeah. Put it on your head after you're done. <laughs> this in here? Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Uh, fattiest tuna. It just melts in your mouth. I don't think I've had this before. That looks nasty. Yeah. It's the, the genitals of the sea urchin. Is it seriously? No. It's a sex organ. Why did you wait until it was like <laughs> in my body to tell me that? <laughs> Day, bro. Those things are quite. Here we go, we're in it. In the rickshaw. So we had a really good idea the other day. We were snooping around the Kluke website and we saw a rickshaw tour and we're like, let's book it so we don't have to do any walking after <laughs> yeah. the food walking tour. And you know what? 10 out of 10, the best idea we've ever had. Yeah, this is great. Um, it's kind of relaxing. It's very relaxing actually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maximum sightseeing, minimum <laughs> yeah. effort.
saved my day. What a legend! Look at him in the background. He's dancing. Thank you. I 10 out of 10 recommend doing that. Yeah, that was amazing. That was so good. But James and I were saying, like, I think a big part of it is the kimonos. <laughs> you want to get in the kimono and you want to get on the rickshaw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. That was so much fun. Um, he had yeah. so much energy. Oh my, oh my God. He was just full of energy, smiling the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Really nice guy. Just the nicest human alive. Um, yeah. Yeah, don't know what else to say. 10 out of 10 recommend. You have to do that. Kyoto has a great public transport system, so I just recommend using that with Google Maps to explore and getting a local sim before you leave home makes life so much easier. I got mine from Sims Direct and it has been perfect. Link below for you. It is time for dinner and we have come to ramen. I think that's how you say it. So our lovely food tour guide this morning, we were walking past this place and she was like, that's the best yuzu ramen in town. You have to try it. Um, we are looking for some of this, so this is where we came. James has got the yuzu ramen. I've got the miso ramen. Let's watch James eat his food. And I'll spin it round right when he's got the mouth off. You caught me off guard. <laughs> that was a really mean thing to do. Is it good? It's actually really good. But you can taste the citrus. It's like a sweet, like sweet, soft citrus in the ramen. It's really good. There are a lot of locals in here, which is a good sign. And the people next to us were like, the user ramen is really good. Um, I couldn't really get, you guys know I don't really eat meat, I couldn't really get a meat free option, so James is just going to get all my meat. Um, and I'm just going to eat the broth and the noodles. You just try the broth. Uh, okay. So I just use this gigantic. Oh my god! Why did you get that? <laughs> Is that what you use? You Look at the size of the thing. That's really good. That's really good. I like that a lot. And this is the miso. It's also really good. That's really good. And then, of course, let's also try the try the nudes. Send nudes. Oh my god. Yum. That's delicious. I have had the loveliest time in Kyoto. I have to say, I think I missed most of the major sites, <laughs> which makes me think that two days just isn't enough time here. Um, James and I were talking today and I was saying, you could easily do a week. It is absolutely beautiful. It's such a quaint, welcoming, friendly, happy place. I just would have loved to have stayed longer. And it's actually becoming, I think it's one of my favorite places in Japan. I have loved it. I've really really enjoyed it. The food, the people, just walking around, everything feels so safe and lovely and friendly so it's great for solo travel if you're traveling by yourself. <sighs> but tomorrow we are catching the Shinkansen to Osaka which I am really really excited about. I love Osaka and we have lots of really fun things planned and now that I've been to Kyoto and not seen all the major sites, I have plenty of inspiration to come back again so I think I will definitely do that. All right, you guys, and with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a really great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya.